Morning, I'm at the allotment just for a brief time. I thought I'd do a quick update for you on what's been going on here. And um, then I'm going to be back home to make lunch for Richard. Um, I got on with my work really well this morning, so I've sort of bought myself an hour. So I'm really pleased about that. So I'm just going to do a quick allotment tour and uh, be back to you shortly. So starting off as usual with the onions, these are the whites and you can see down here, um, here, that uh, some of these are bubbling up really well. And then we come over to the red onions. Now quite a lot of these, as you may have seen in a different video, were actually bolting and I have taken out the, um, the flower head that was coming up. So hopefully no, I'm sure some will, but oh, I can see one just down here. Uh, that's bolting, so I'm going to, even though that's really young, I'm going to take that out now. Just break it off. I don't know if you saw that, but I've broken it off. Okay, then coming round, this is the, the plot here. Um, the cherry tree here a empty bed at the moment apart from some flowers these are morge to peas here uh, which i need to do something about because i can see a line is broken these are pea, just general peas over here i'm not sure what variety they are here then moving on this is where the broad beans are they're doing sort of quite well and then if we move around, hopefully you can see in there, maybe down here, that the carrots. This is the third sowing of carrots. This one here is the first sowing of carrots. There's a couple of second sowings of carrots, but these are the third sowing of carrots now. So I hope they're going to remain okay. This is our strawberries that you will have seen me potting on couple of months ago they're a late variety but you can see that some of them are flowering there's our apple tree there our cuttings bench here cuttings and seeds so these are the blueberries that we got from um, was it kitchen garden magazine free from kitchen garden magazine this is the one that we got from Poundland there's still a leaf on there and I think this one here has well and truly died. Um, rosemary cutting, some angelica. These are alpine strawberries that need a bit of water. Various cuttings at the back there and various cuttings here. Then we move over to the large bed here. You can see that there's a, oh sorry, big weed here. That needs to come out. This needs a general weed. Some herbs and plants this end. This is where the pumpkins are going to go and up here is where beans and then peppers are going to go. Then if we move here, this, are, this is the parsnip bed, which are doing quite well. You can see here there are second sowings, infill sowings that are coming through, which I'm really pleased about. But we seem to have none here in this row for some reason. Then here we have carrots which again i'm not sure if you can see these are second sowings here and these are obviously first sowings germination has been really poor and what has germinated the slugs have really enjoyed here we have perennial kale these are now about a foot high and are doing um really well so i'm pleased with those the rest of the bed is empty needs a, a good weed it's a plane going over now here we have onions at the back again a good weed i'm going to take that netting off but if we come here some of you may have seen that i had an issue with celery which i'll show you about later so Vivi has been growing um, chickpeas and here and here 
and then can you see that one there there and there my chickpeas are coming through so i'm really pleased about this there's another one sort of quite big there there's another one here so um needs a weed which i'll do this afternoon but really pleased that those chickpeas are coming through so thanks vivi for for that i wouldn't have done chickpeas if it hadn't been for you and it'll be really interesting to see how these do this is our plum tree which if i come in i'm not sure you can see that there's a little plum where oh, i can't even see it myself there's a little plum in there anyway and then coming here here's our pear tree which has got quite a few pears on it now I'm going to go up to the oh and the comfrey that we put in three plants are, are doing really well there so I'm pleased about that okay just going to the top lot now Right, so here we have the top plot. This first bed had a weed the other day. This is where outdoor tomatoes are going to be. Then in the second bed there is two types of um, courgette. Then further over there we have late potatoes. This bed needs a weed but is actually getting prepared for beans our broad beans here are starting to pod up nicely again that needs a, a bit of a weed and then we come around here we have a row of radish and then we have beetroot, which I have a real problem with. There is a row of beetroot all along to the end there. But there's some beetroot here. There's one or two there. None there. Maybe one. I don't know what it is. I can't grow beetroot. Anyway. Then our garlic. It's another plane going over, quite a loud one. So this is our garlic, which you may have seen. I was going to take the scapes off, which I have done on most of them, and also some of the leaves, which have got rust. But what I was really intrigued by, I didn't realize about rust, but it literally is like a, a dust. I don't know if we can go I think the wind has blown most of it off, but when you do that, it just literally rolls off like dust sometimes. Over here is another one that's going to seed. So off with its head. Over here we have our shallots. And the reason there's lots of grass down here and here is because we've got lots of slow worms. This is going to be where further beans are going in. This is our potato bed, which is a raised potato bed. Um, they're doing really well. The apple tree is just stupendous. It's loaded with apples, far too many to actually produce apples so I just hope that 80% of those fall off anyway let's have a quick look into the polytunnel while well, the our strawberries are doing quite well you can see quite a lot of strawberries on the bottom there and quite a lot to come on both sides here then into the polytunnel for beans the salad, as you may remember, this is overwintered salad. This went in 
from being outside. I dug it up outside in about October and brought it in here and it's been giving us lettuce for really the last I think six or eight weeks. We've got plenty there. That's why uh, some of the tomatoes are going to be. Uh, and there's a slug, Mr. Slug there. I'm not quite sure why he's there, but there we are. Then these are the tomato plants. They've got really decent stems on them, quite tough. Um, I've already taken side shoots off these. There's another one there. Um, but yeah, I've already taken side shoots off these and these. Now these are Marmond and I think, is it, what are these? San Marcano. So these here are Marmond and San Marcano. There's some basil here. These are pink Bulgarian and uh, Amish paste. Now they are really much, much weaker. Um, it's very bizarre. I mean, look, they're, they're quite spindly compared to those over there, which are really good. These are our peppers, which are doing okay, but some of them are doing this. Now we do have, I noticed one here had actually been eaten. So I have put slug pellets here simply because, sorry, I have put used slug pellets here, but it's above the ground. Um, so this is obviously on staging. I wouldn't be using it if it was on the ground. Then under here, we have some chard at the back. Then we have a re-sowing here of um, butternut waltham because we only got three that came up and we've also got a re-sowing of some cucumbers because they were looking quite weak. Here is the celery that I was really worried about but you can see that it's got true leaves now so I need to pop this on. And then we have some lettuce which is not doing too well. Seems to be an odd year for lettuce for us. Then here we have, uh, I think this is cauliflower, yep, cauliflower here, various plants over there, including a, a blackberry, a cultivated blackberry. This is our beans, these first two rows are gigantes. The next two rows are Black Beauty, which are runner beans. Then if we move over, these are our Borlotti beans. Some haven't germinated. There's two in each of these, so two in each of these, so one has been missing here and one not germinated here, both not germinated here, both not germinated here. So I'm going to be re-sowing those. These are our Madeira Maroon, which has been save seed, but really a mixed, a mixed bag of germination. And you'll notice that the leaves, I think have, some of them are actually quite yellow for quite young plants. Um, this one is coming up now, but I think we're going to need to re-sow more of these. These are our pumpkins, which will be going out shortly. The front ones are Crown Prince and the back ones at the back are um, Uchiki Curry. Then we come into our little lean-to greenhouse. There's some uh, Portuguese kale at the back, some leeks here. These are our butternuts, three butternuts that are starting to come on. These are two cucumbers, ridge cucumbers, that again are starting to come on. We have some cost lettuce, a little gem rather here, and we have some rocket at the back. These are honesty at the back. These are broccoli that now need potting on. And these are hispy cabbage, which are coming on. If we come down the shelf, 
sunflowers which will sort of shortly be going in. Now here I do have good germination of beetroot. I'm doing this the Charles Dowding way of um, sowing in blocks and the germination here is really good. So what will happen is once these have come up, once there's four or five, this whole thing will be planted out into a single hole and then we'll remove the beetroot as they as they grow to eat. Then down here at the front is marigolds and at the back is Brussels sprouts which has seen no germination yet whatsoever. It's really challenging for me to say this but some of the some of the seeds that have not germinated well are from small suppliers that I really want to support but the thing is you can't support a supplier if you're spending money on Brussels sprout seeds you know 253 pounds on Brussels sprout seeds and nothing is actually coming through so these here are actually from the seed cooperative sorry these here are actually from the seed cooperative and they haven't come up yet so let's wait and see whether they do Finally got a rose which is coming here, I've been a bit eaten, more strawberries, another comfrey plant and then behind the comfrey plant is sage plants which are going to be going to our carnival to raise money for the allotment association. At the back here I have my traditional compost bin. That compost has now gone down by about a half and then the hot bin which at the moment is at 42 degrees. So it'll be interesting to see in a couple of months when I take the compost out of that how that has actually done. Okay so this is our top plot and thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!